Guys, good morning. We are live from the RVI headquarters in Italy, here in Bologna, where we do manufacture classic transmitter from 30 watt up to 60 kilowatt, but as well, tailor-made solution, and that's the time. So we are having a rack unit closed. This is going to be shipped and installed in the desert in Africa. And today we're going to talk about this special unit, since it's an unconventional transmitter with a kind of specific power supply. And we're going to talk about everything that is included with my colleague over here and we're going to discover what's inside the box. Great. So actually this is a sealed container that we're going to use in a desert environment so it will be exposed to extreme heat, extreme uh, humidity at night time, we're going to have sandstorms, we're going to have heavy winds and especially hot, hot temperatures. Uh, so we had to make a special enclosure and in this enclosure we have put all our capacity of reception and rebroadcast and the possibility to control remotely the entire system. What's inside? Let's going to open the rack and what we're going to see. So actually we have tried to uh, minimize the equipment and uh, what is uh, possibly going faulty. Uh, so we have a satellite, satellite DVB-S2 receiver um, AES-CBU inputs, analog inputs, and a patching uh, panel to be able to uh, um, switch between all the signals. Whichever signal is available will go on the air. Then we have uh, a 50 watt transmitter, which could be replaced up to one kilowatt. And we have this, uh, let's say, uh, uh, innovation in the power supply section. We are actually um, supplying an energy through um, solar panels and uh, um, wind turbine and we only use that the uh, AC voltage as a backup so actually we're gonna connect here solar panel and Savonius uh, um, wind turbine uh, because usually in this kind of environment we have either sun at the, during daytime and some wind at nighttime starting from four meters a second the wind turbine is able to provide enough power, enough juice to, to, to have the transmitter up and running. And everything is controlled by, by a Wi-Fi card, so we have a Wi-Fi modem connected to the uh, laptop, to the uh, smartphone or tablet, so we can operate all the telecontrols and commands of the equipment without opening the sealed box. So what kind of audio input you can provide to the unit? So we receive satellite from here. Okay and we rebroadcast FM from here. So actually we are receiving um, this uh, as a satellite or we can connect signals incoming from a radio link, digital or analog radio link, <clears throat> and we can provide via the Wi-Fi version also a, a enable an um, audio over IP. So all the three functions can be uh, switchable at the same time. So it's a far away like from city uh, system. So uh, are you going to control it? I'm seeing like some IP address, so uh, I'm assuming you are going to control it over the telemetry. Of right? course. Actually, the Wi-Fi board is used mainly on the side, where you're on the side during, during maintenance or during, during some sort of a setup, initial setup or maintenance. But uh, all the, through the IP uh, address, you can control it remotely using your SNMP use if you have a network management system whatsoever. Is it in a rack since it's going to be outside, so there's no like uh, shelter, there's no uh, tower site? Sure, sure. It's Actually, it's meant to be either connected straight to the tower itself okay. or uh, down on the ground, so you simply can put it on the foot of the tower, but it's totally uh, self-supported and you don't need to shelter this into a bigger container whatsoever. Okay. And it's sealed. So it, it's sealed, yeah. Okay. You have this, you see, you have this function to okay. keep the water and everything outside. So okay. you have a air filter. Air filter. Uh, what about the air cooling? Is there any fan inside? So there is a panel here, okay. which includes four blowers. Okay. Blowers are used to circulate the air from the air intake on the front door, and which is rejected laterally. And it is circulated with this unit. Has four, uh, let's say, oversized fans, 
and they are redundant because with two you could have enough air circulation to keep the system up running up to 60 degrees temperature. Okay, good. So customized system, this is a 30 watt unit with a satellite receiver and some other connection for local audio incoming from ISTL or other kind of sources and a special configuration that allows the system to run thanks to solar panels and as well from the wind, right? Yeah, that is the main function that we are, um, uh, let's say, running these days is the combination of the two renewable sources, the sun and wind. Okay, so the classical like power socket, you're going to use it just as a backup? Only as a backup, right. Okay, great. So in case you're interested in having uh, a product like this or you need something specific, customized, of other like powers, this is a 30 watt solution, you can write us at sales at rvr.it or directly visiting our website www.rvr.it following the different pages of our products and found the contact session and you can write us an email. We're going to be very happy to supply you all the information related to this unit or the solution you're looking for.